and welcome back to the channel on this video I'm on a different bike yep I'm on the rad rover I felt it's time to take it out for a ride I haven't ridden it since 2022 probably well before the end of the year sometime a month or so maybe so it's been at least Oh, at least a couple months, maybe even a bit more. So this is the first ride of 2023 on the Rad Rover. And I put it up to pedal assist three. I might need to put it back down. I went, pedal assist two is gonna be fine. It's gonna be a little different riding this bike. Car right behind me and I have uh, no mirror on this bike. I have another mirror at home that uh, does not fit up here so I should get another one on this bike because it is important to have mirror you know so I think I will go to three I like pedal assist three so this is the Rad Rover uh, my first electric bike this is the Rad Rover 4 and uh this bike is an old reliable bike i mean it's i've had it for i always get this mixed up three or four years i got it on a black friday deal and i can't remember i think it's four years old now you know, the more i think about it so anyway it's been it's been uh, a while that I've had it and it's it's reliable it's mr. reliable for sure never had anything wrong with it the only thing that I'm going to be doing is having to change the rear tire because the tires getting bald on the back the front tire is fine probably because all the weight uh, of myself on the back so it's funny when I when I hop on this bike after not riding it for a while the first thing that comes to mind, because I'm taking it down a couple of steps out the door, the first thing I notice right away compared to the Grizzly is how light this bike is. So it weighs 68 pounds. Well, that's 42 pounds or so less than the Grizzly with the E Huntsman tires. The Grizzly is now running at about 110 pounds. So. 40 pounds is quite a bit of difference so I really notice that when I'm moving this bike around it's a bigger frame like it's taller it's got the 26 inch wheels but it's a feather uh, compared to the aerial rider grizzly which is I always call it a tank it's built like a tank and it is a tank so like I say though, with the Rad Rover, I've had no issues with it, not even one in my uh, time of riding it. I haven't put a lot of miles on this bike though. Um, I was just using it as just a commuter to go back and forth to work since I only work five minutes away, you know, and I thought on the bike it's five minutes. So I thought, uh, you know, just get the bike for that and uh, And so, uh, after a while though, I did a little bit of riding, you know, beyond that, besides that, a little pleasure riding, but not a lot. I did a lot more once I got the Grizzly. And one of the reasons why I didn't want to go too far around is because this bike here obviously cannot tackle hills like the Grizzly. That's why I went and bought that bike for the two motor setup and, uh, if you want a bike that to climb hills, that's the one. Um, but this bike here, this this bike is so smooth though. The only the only downside, it doesn't have the power to go up the hills. Is one. If it had a more more power to go up the hills, this is a really nice bike. And the other thing, uh, it's it's got no rear suspension. And as I just went over a bump there, you can feel it. 
so that's the other thing I noticed when I got on the bike you know after not riding for a while right away how hard it is even the seat you know this seat I have the all this bike is completely stock I haven't changed anything on it and uh, the seat is hard it's the original seat so those are the only criticisms I have of this bike you know otherwise I like it uh, something I wanted to mention though on this video is ride one up and I mentioned this in one other video but I have a little more information so ride one up have a new model coming out new bike and from what I've seen uh, which is not a lot but I've seen a little bit like a dark video of somebody riding it a little like getting on it at least they weren't really it wasn't really much it was a few seconds but it looked a lot like the Scrambler style, like the uh, the Grizzly. So, so I think it's going to be that style of a bike. And I found out a couple of things. So, one of them is it's going to be 52 volt, 20 amp hour battery. Oh, I should tell you why I think it's going to be the Scrambler style. So when I saw the video. I could just tell by the way the guy was getting on the bike on the video and it looked like a longer seat and it also looked like or it didn't look like I saw it for sure the headlight was more like the big brown headlight light uh, like they would put on a scrambler bike so that led me to believe that it's going to be that kind of bike so anyway the battery is going to be 52 volt 20 amp hour so that's going to be pretty good that's a good decent sized uh, battery and then the other thing I found out is the motor is going to be 52 volt as I hit a bump and feel it uh, it's going to be 52 volt 750 watt so that's pretty standard on a lot of bikes right 750 watt where I probably personally prefer a thousand uh, at 52 volt, a thousand watt. That would be pretty nice. But uh, 750 at 52 volt, though, that should be pretty good. Because most most bikes that are 52 uh, that are 750 watt, I should say, are more like 50 or 48 amp. So that 52 is a little extra oomph. So that that'll be pretty nice, actually. I don't know yet anything much else. The one other thing I do know now, though, is that it's going to be an option whether you want full suspension or if you want the hardtail. So I suspect with the two options, you're going to pay more for the full suspension. So if you're willing to do that, then you're going to get the full suspension by the sounds of it. So I don't know. Is it worth getting? I guess it's, for me, it's going to depend on how much the difference in price is. If it's not a lot, I probably would want the full suspension. Like if it was $500, that might be the maximum that I'd want to go extra. And I think I might go for it. And the other thing would depend on what the cost is going to be for the bike. Like the, first, the the original cost before you add on the heart the uh, full suspension, so that would be the other thing. But this is uh, pretty exciting, though. I'm I'm looking forward to seeing what what uh, ride one up does here. You know, like so. If you're into that style of a, of a bike, and. Uh, you may not have bought one yet, or maybe you want a second bike. We better look out for uh, ride one up and just see what they got coming as a dog. Doesn't like me, or doesn't like the bike, or doesn't like either one of us. After all, this bike is Brad Rover, so it kind of is a dog in its own way. Oh, this bike is so smooth, I gotta say. This was, this was a, 
a very nice first bike. I mean, if you want to get a first bike with a, a, a you know a company that has a good reputation, Rad Rover. This Rad Rover is is nice. Um, it's smooth. The only thing it's missing, like I say, is a better seat and full. If it had a full suspension, oh, and a little more power. That's the other thing. Three things. Like if you put. 52 volt, uh, 1,000 watt motor on this, and, a, and a, a nicer seat, which you could buy yourself, I, I, you know, I suppose. But uh, if it came with it though, and then also uh, uh, full suspension, but then that's gonna jack up the price, all of that's gonna jack up the price even more. They're running it close to, like original or regular price, I should say, is running at about two thousand. So you'd probably have to up it to three over three thousand dollars, probably. So I'm not everybody wants to do that, but uh, but otherwise, this bike is nice. This thumbs up for uh, Rad Rover. Yeah. Someday, if I ever have to get rid of this bike, it'll probably be a sad day be because it was my first bike. But so far, I'm hanging on to it. I have no desire to uh, to get rid of it, but some you know at some point if you keep buying bikes or getting bikes, uh, you start to get limited on space, you know, and you, you can only do so much uh, or or have so many bikes. So anyway, uh, if you've got a comment on this or any other video, go ahead and leave a comment in the comments section. And if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. Also, if you uh, haven't already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and join us. We're growing and uh, every day and uh, I appreciate everyone who's joining our channel. Uh, And also, if you want to be notified, hit that notification bell and you'll be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel. And right now, I've been able to uh, do a new video every day. So um, that's pretty cool. But um, some days there may be a, a stretch where I can't do it every day. So every other day I try to at least get it one up. So we do our best to get lots of videos here on the channel if we can. So. So once again, thank you for joining me today. And until next time, take care.